Uh, well, it's great to hear everything said so far this morning. Uh, Andrew Neil, in particular, I thought was, was very informative. And for us, um, we're a manufacturing business in Birmingham, quite a small company. And to come out to London and sort of hear about the bigger picture, about what's been going on with some of the sort of geopolitical issues has been very interested. And to see how that sort of resonates down the supply chain to ourselves, that's, that's been very interesting. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're really keen on, on getting apprenticeships into our business and, and young people in particular, whether it's apprenticeship, apprenticeships or through other routes as well. Uh, we're a very labour intensive business and we see young people as the way forward. We'd rather bring in young people untrained into our business and train them up ourselves and give them those skills. And I was just having a conversation over there with someone I met this morning. When we interview young people, we don't, we're not interested in whether they've got maths, GCSE, French GCC, whatever it is, we're more interested in, we're quite in the hands-on skills, so we're quite an arts and craftsy type business in a way. So we'll actually, as part of the interview process, we'll give someone a sheet of stickers and we're interested in how quickly and how accurately they can stick the stickers onto a sheet of paper more than, you know, how, how they are in a conversation or, or proper interview setting. So. Yeah, really interested in hearing from Kwasi Kwarteng. Um, we've only joined Mate UK this year and it's been great so far. I was lucky enough to come down to London earlier in the year, and specifically for a round table event with Kwasi Kwarteng. And um, so I'm really excited about hearing him speak again in, in a big environment. I think he's a uh, very in intelligent and articulate man and I'm really looking forward to what he's got to say this afternoon.